Pastor Luther at Incarnation Lutheran Church, and this is To Start Your Day. Our reading for today comes to us from the book of Acts, reading from the second chapter, beginning with the 37th verse, and I'm going to read through to verse 47, Acts 2, 37 to 47, and I'm reading from the Message Translation. Cut to the quick those who were there listening to Peter and the other apostles. Brothers, brothers, so now what do we do? Peter said, change your life. Turn to God and be baptized, each of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so your sins are forgiven. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is targeted to you and your children, but also to all who are far away, whomever, in fact, our master God invites. He went on in this vein for a long time, urging them over and over, get out while you can, get out of this sick and stupid culture. That day, about 3,000 took him at his word, were baptized and were signed up. They committed themselves to the teaching of the apostles, the life together, the common meal, and the prayers. Everyone around was in awe. All those wonders and signs done through the apostles. And all the believers lived in a wonderful harmony, holding everything in common. They sold whatever they owned and pooled their resources so that each person's need was met. They followed a daily discipline of worship in the temple, followed by meals at home, every meal a celebration, exuberant and joyful as they praised God. People in general liked what they saw. Every day their number grew as God added to those who were saved. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Gracious Lord, we give thanks for your presence to us each new day, and we ask that you bless us as we seek to be the people you'd have us be. Help us be a community, even though we're required to meet virtually, to be a community that is together, that is in relationship, that loves one another. Help that love foster a growth in your church that will bring more glory to your name as we seek to reach out with the blessed and wonderful news that your love for us is so great that we have the gift of life. And indeed, the gift of life is a, a gift that all people should know about, should hear about as soon as they can. For that message gives hope. Let us be agents of hope in this world, Lord. In your holy name we pray. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give each and every one of you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.